bugaboo. That's not allowed to come in the house anymore. What are you doing? Old turd butt, where'd he get that? Who says a cat can't hunt in the snow? in the back Colin. Well, there's my very first shelf. I lost a full row, full so row. I intended on all the oils being on the bottom shelf, and there's no space for them now. But I think that the containers are a step in the right direction. All right, guys, so here's where we're at. We officially moved out of our 19-foot RV that we've been living in for three years. We've been extremely limited on space and time to really do anything about organization. But now that we're living in our house, even though it's far from done, and we don't wanna to focus too much on temporary things, temporary is gonna be our new permanent for a while. In the kitchen, that means until our upstairs kitchen is done, and that's a project we definitely don't wanna rush. So this winter, one of my personal fun projects has been trying to figure out how to be organized. If only it were as easy as going to Walmart or Home Depot and buying a bunch of bins and bam, instant organization, right? But we all know it's not or else we'd all be hella organized, right? You guys know what I'm talking about. Bins like this that are really deep, you can't really see through them, obnoxious lids. These bins aren't too bad. We bought a bunch of these just because we knew we'd need them, but you can't see through them. They're definitely not the right size for most things. We had this bin, two of them actually in our RV for the longest time, and our only storage was overhead. You can't see through, it's not cleanable, it's out of like a meshy fabric, and we pile all sorts of stuff in here. The problem is that you can't just stick a bunch of stuff in a bin and call it organized, right? It's not about having bins, it's about things being ergonomic. I'm kind of thinking that if you don't have an organizational problem, you probably don't bleed. The problem with organization is that at some point, like there's a very blurry line, very fuzzy line between organizing to benefit your life and then organization becoming like an unhealthy obsession. And like, like getting caught up in all of these things, gadgets yeah, like, and gizmos and. It's kind of fun, like you get kind of a high, I don't know, that's why we all go to like the office supply store and we're like, oh, organize over my pencils and my erasers and my paper clips. But then at some point, the things and the means that you use to organize like somehow becomes clutter. 
and it stops being practical. And I think we're trying to find, we're trying to get closer to that. Like we've been way over here, we were organized with what we had, but we've got a new had, and so we're trying to move into a new level of organization that ultimately is good energy. It's like good feng shui. Like we're not fighting our environment. I think we had our other environment about as good as it could get, but this environment's completely new. We want to have enough food on hand that we don't feel like we're running to the store all the time like we were when we lived in the RV. We didn't have a space inside to store anything outside of our RV was unprotected space and because we didn't have a good organization system, things were rotting. So our onions were rotting or freezing, more importantly, outside. Our potatoes were stored under the kitchen sink and we'd frequently forget about them. Guys, if you haven't smelled a frozen potato. Rotting potatoes. A rotting frozen potato. Worse you than death. have not smelled the worst smell known to man. <laughs> so by stretching our minds and coming up with little ways to be organized, we feel like we can start storing a lot of these bulk ingredients. Yeah, and then this stuff like gets good air movement and whatnot. It's obviously in a temperature controlled environment. It's easy to grab. So not only is it organized, but it's practical and I'm, I'm loving this system. I feel like I can just grab a potato, make breakfast, and I love it. Next, whatever components we invest in, we want them to be versatile. These baskets, for example, they're great stacked like this in a tower in the garage right now. We love that they're open in the front so you can reach in to grab what you want. And then we feel that something like this could end up in our final pantry, probably not stacked six high so they're falling over, but maybe too high, or maybe you can put them on the ground. And in all honesty, these could even be used in the garage. They're just a really great piece that has many, many uses. So late one evening, I had a heart to heart with our pantry and I tried to stretch my brain and be really honest with myself, trying to answer the question, what do we need to make this space organized and usable for the next couple of years? I made a master plan. I clicked the order buttons and everything's here. Wait, 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 wait. I, I can't even see you. Oh, there you Is are. That better? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And okay. everything's here on site to make our Pantry. I mean our dream pantry. I knew I wanted a bin system of various sizes, all from the same brand so that they all match together. I wanted them to be clear, I wanted them to be plastic, and I wanted them to be washable, and I wanted them to be stackable. And you're gonna see these strung throughout the rest of this video. Most of these bins are deep enough so that we can pull it all the way out and reach whatever is in the back. Very important to us. We find that we don't often need more than five of any canned good at one time, so we feel like this quantity works well. We can rotate the old stuff to the front and no longer are we searching in the depths of our cupboard to figure out what the heck we have. I didn't plan anything for this shelf. We don't yep. have any bins in my head, but we really don't use anything on this shelf on a daily basis, so I'm willing to overlook it for now for the sake of getting it all in here and being able to slam the door shut. Right, but that's really what we were talking about earlier, the limits of organization. We can't, you can only organize to a certain right. degree. Right, I couldn't find a practical way yep. to put all this stuff on this shelf in an organized manner. That's it, so some of these shelves, they're gonna stay looking just like that. They just won't make it to Pinterest. Well, that's looking about as organized as that can get. So what's the plan now?
do I put this exactly? I'm done with low quality mismatch Tupperware. I'm not fresh out of high school anymore living in a college dorm. I'm an adult. And if I have to be an adult all day, I'm gonna have adult Tupperware. So you were an adult before, but now that you have like adult Tupperware, you're an adultier adult? We wanted the same storage system for the pantry as we did the refrigerator so we could mix and match. My mom and I believe my sister recommended the Rubbermaid Brilliance brand. They've been using it for uh, one or two years and they love it. I like that it's clear. It's a very hard, durable plastic. It's leak proof. They have a variety of sizes. All of the sizes work together so you can arrange them in an assortment of ways. They stack beautifully and this is something that we just went ahead and invested in. And with this particular line, it's square. So unlike mason jars or glass gallon sized jugs, it's really easy to maximize your space. I also love that the lids are clear too. I hate all this like red lid, turquoise lid stuff. Like what's wrong with clear and simple? So now the goal is to get all of that and all of that into that. Should we get the label maker out? I think we should. Probably ought to mark what all this. Yeah, let's do it. Interesting food is. I think this looks way better, way, 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 way better than what we started with. We have a bunch of mason jars left over and we have a lot of packaging that can now be recycled, yay. There's also a handful of stuff that doesn't fit, either because we bought it in too large of quantities or in the case of rice, I don't, we don't crave rice very often, but when we do, I always think we don't have any because we haven't been organized. So we have a lot of extra rice. We're not gonna throw it away. I guess when we run out, we'll just use these bins to top it off. Looks delicious. Homemade, what do we call this? Sour DiGiorno? Yeah. Sour DiGiorno? And Alyssa's belly wants spaghetti squash and meat sauce. So I'm gonna have that. This 
looks so good. Yeah. This turned out way better than I could have hoped for. I think it's everything. Like I'm going vertical. Yep. And what I didn't realize is that the space would be perfect. So on the yeah. left here, I have our normal flour. Yep. And then coconut flour, okay. almond flour. Here's all the sugars. Sugar, sugar, sugar. Sugar, powdered sugar, cocoa powder, which we probably use the most of for smoothies. You'll have to think about what you use the most often, and yep. those are gonna be the things we want on the top. Makes sense. And then it's kind of annoying to have a second layer, but that's just the yeah. reality of this deep. But when you're baking, you kind of tear the cabinet apart anyway, and then you probably put it right, all back together. Right, you pull together. a lot of stuff out, exactly, yep. so that's not a big deal. But yeah, this okay. works really well, so. Probably some stuff I'll want to pack around here, but this is the baking shelf. This is the happiness shelf. It's old. I vote that shelf goes on top. That's why it's like the top, <laughs> like number one. Yep. It's okay, pumpkin seeds. We still love you, but we mostly love you in the summer when we have kale salads. You know, sometimes you get two things of maple syrup, so that's my justification, I think, that this is a good, it's a very versatile size too, but if you need something in the back, you only have to take two things out. This works really well for almond bark. Okay. And then I think this works well for spices. It's kind of tippy, so yep. these definitely don't nest perfectly. Yeah, I'm disappointed in the quality of the bends a little bit, but. That is a good size and it nests on top. Yep. But again, to pull to get the stuff in the back, you're gonna have to pull it out. Just two bins, though. You don't have Just to pick up 37 bins. little right, and extracts. You set them up here, or, and then this is kind of all of our like snacky random food. It's hard to deny that this is a lot more ergonomic and usable, right? Well, the bins make it nice to just pull everything out. Like, because our cabinet is deep, we can just reach into the back right. and grab that avocado oil without having to knock everything over. Yep. Like, it's exactly. Not so I think that's improvement. I think we're supposed to keep our skeletons in the closet. Closet's too full, door won't shut anymore. What in the world is Garum Massala? Hmm, we have two of those, two of those. There's garlic, 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 onion, onion. Had to get the chalkboard labels, did you? Bought it for its personality, not its looks. Mm-hmm. Problem, love, all of that is not gonna fit in there. Yeah, it only fits 30.
excited for this, guys. I've been wanting to standardize my spices in clear jars for, oh, 10 years, something like that, and it finally happened. It feels amazing. For now, this works really well because we can pull out and we have access to everything that we need. We didn't want a spinny rack because it's not ideal to put it in here, and they only held like 18 to 24, and clearly we have a lot of spices, so many that we couldn't put them all in here. With these jars, we really wanted a system we could grow with, so these are nice because you can buy them in packs of 10 and that seems like a good rate to grow at. These come with enough either round or square labels for every jar and to be honest I'm not sure if you print on these. We decided to use our own label maker so this isn't really a selling point for us. We also felt like with the labels they're designed I think for the lids. The round ones are. I think. And the square ones are for the front so Secret we were concerned if we used the lid labels and we laid the bottles in there horizontally, you wouldn't be able to read the label. So what point was the label? Right. So we use the label maker to label the front. We're also planning on using our label maker to label the front front so you don't have to pull the trays out to see what, what the spices are, right? Lastly, this system comes with a lid and either kind of like a fine pour or a coarse pour for each jar. And to be honest, we used like two of these because for the most part, we take spices out in like a teaspoon or half a teaspoon at a time, but some people might find this highly valuable. Bugaboo, did you manage to dodge the uh, organizing gremlin? Oh, having a hard time, having a hard time getting, uh, oh, that's the spot. This poor cat's like 10 degrees outside, doesn't want to go out. Bugaboo, did mom build you a nest? Oh, there you go, get settled. Look at Bugaboo, see you in a little bit. Well guys, it's not perfect, but it's a huge start. We're far from done organizing, but the last two things I wanna talk about are the fridge and the bathroom briefly. With the fridge, we basically have the same couple of goals. We want to be able to store a lot of food, and then we don't want stuff to go bad by losing stuff to the back of the fridge. We're trying to transition away from all these one-off containers, and again, we're trying to use this Tupperware system to do food prep, store leftovers, things like that, and I'd say it's working extremely well. It's better than these containers. This is what we've been keeping our cat food in, but I did pick up a couple of items for the fridge. The first one being this butter container. Many of you know that we get milk from a local dairy and we get it uh, one to two gallons at a time and we love that it comes in glass bottles. One of the things that we love, in addition to it being high quality milk, is that there's no packaging. And we've recently started getting butter from them as well. We've been keeping it just to the package it comes in and I don't know if it's this butter or all homemade butter, but it's kind of crumbly. It's actually pretty hard to use in here and cut off in the quantities you want it. So we were thinking, what if we could transition this mess into here and we could keep our butter contained? Beautiful, I like it doesn't produce less trash per se, but again, it's easier to see how much butter we have and it's easier to get to. So I don't think we're gonna keep it up there. I think we'll probably keep it down here. It's my opinion right now that we don't really need much. I feel like the Tupperware containers are gonna do most of it. So we just did the one for the cheese because we have a lot of random cheeses, different cheeses. So we thought that might contain that mess a little bit. Stuff like this, we're thinking of getting uh, what we did for our canned food, where you have a bin that you slide out. That way you can reach to the stuff in the back. So we might order one or two of those for, you know, the good beverages. And last but not least.
So we're on a quest to make our fridge look more, or the ingredients in our fridge to look more visually appealing. And simultaneously, we're trying to figure out how to reduce waste in our life. So we feel if we transition to these containers here, we could take them to the people we get our eggs from. They no longer need to give us these, which we always bring back to them. But on the other hand, we feel like this would reduce the chance that these are going to end up in the garbage. Another huge bonus to these is you can see how many eggs you have left. I'm sure some of you are like us, where we've looked in the fridge before and thought we had one or two dozen eggs left. Turns out, well, it might look like there's two dozen. Each of them only have a few eggs in them, and we have less than a dozen total, meaning we're left without eggs and have to make another trip to the grocery store. So we feel like these are a step in the right direction. Really excited to try them out and see how they work. I don't know that this video or words can convey how excited we are to be organized. It's been way too long. You don't realize how little you have until you're living in this tiny little RV for years. I mean, we built the little cabin so we had a little extra space, but it wasn't condition space so anything we had out there was susceptible to freezing and there's only so much we could do in the RV. So now that we have this huge house we're living in. We're trying to figure out how do we go about organization the right way in a way that allows us to be better, more productive people. And I think what I'm hoping more than anything is that this video inspires someone to maybe look at some really messy space in their house or their life in a little bit different way, realizing that you do have the power to change some things. And the solution for everyone's gonna be a little bit different and the solution doesn't necessarily mean that you're gonna have to buy Tupperware or bins like we did, but it might mean just taking a good hard look at that space, deciding what can you do with it? And don't try to do the whole house or anything. Just take maybe one cupboard or your junk drawer or a couple of drawers in the bathroom. Start small. Thanks for joining me, love. How do you feel it turned out? Good. It kind of feels like I did a lot of work and don't have a ton to show for it. But on the other hand, I feel like there's a ton to show for it. I feel like it's a couple very key components of our life that now have some sort of structure to them. I think a lot of these projects are that way. They take hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours of research and planning and strategizing and thinking and organizing and then like, you know, within a fairly short amount of time, it's all done and... Right. But hopefully, yeah, it's an investment in the future. Like that little bit of time you spent organizing and then getting the things and doing the thing, like hopefully it'll pay off in the next long time. I'm excited. I mean, I kind of like our little rustic kitchen. We're killing it <laughs> for whatever kitchenette we do have. We're doing great, yep. Yeah.